So I had don't get me wrong when when I talk about what I'm about to talk to talk to you about. My brother my brother's place was amazing. I had so much, you know, fun as much fun as I could while I was there. Like I got to play with the kitty even though it wasn't really playing, it was just petting her and then letting her back outside, you know, watering, you know, making sandwich, making all the food that I normally make at home and playing my video games, watching the Niners game last night, you know, all that stuff, which I'm not too happy with, with what the Niners did. The fact of the matter is, is that, look, don't, I, I love nothing more than going to different places, whether it's my brother's place, whether it could be, you know, going to to a beach house or going to the beach or, you know, maybe going to rent a ca go to a cabin in Big Bear or something along those lines, going to Disneyland, going to Disney World. Those all sound extremely fun to me, and I would love nothing more to do them. But there's some times in life where you get homesick if you're gone for an extended period of time. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said before in the very beginning of this video, it was it was nice to get away for a couple of days. And, you know, I got to do something that I haven't done in a very long time, and that's to get out of this room and do something fun. Now, don't... And I do go to the grocery store and I get food and stuff like that. That's fine. That's essential stuff. When you need a little mini vacation, that's fine too. I'm not saying everything is going to be all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and whatever else you want to call it. It's at some, at some point in that, it's that period of time that you're away from your home, you kind of get a little bit of homesick. And, and it's okay to be homesick. It's okay to miss the place that you've known for so long. And someday I'm going to have a different home. Someday, far, I'm not going to say, maybe when I get closer to like 36, 37, I'll move away from home. That's still a long ways away. And have my own place and, you know, do things on my own and stuff like that. That's, that's what's important to me eventually. I'm not saying it's going to happen right now. I'm not saying it's going to happen in, you know, a year or two years or three years or it could be a while before I move out. And that's fine. And homesickness is a real thing. Just like motion sickness is a real thing. If you get seasick or you get plane sick or whatever you want to call it. Or, you know, driving or car sickness. All of that stuff is real. And everyone goes through it. Whether it's if they're away from their house for, let's say, a week or two weeks or a week and a half or three weeks or however, however long it is, eventually you'll get sick, uh, you'll get homesick and you'll want to go back home. And as soon as that happens, you can either do one of two things. You can actually go home or tough it out. And I'm not saying it's going to be an easy journey if you do decide to tough it out because your home is your home no matter what wherever you live in the world whether you live with a roommate or you live with your spouse or you live with your parents or you just live alone you need that companionship you need that you know that communication and when you're not at home and no one else is there to you know communicate it kind of gets hard it gets difficult because you want to have that you know, that feeling that you can talk to someone when things get difficult. And it's not, and texting helps a little bit, but it's not like the, the whole thing. It's it's this bed behind me. It's it's these posters on my walls. It's, it's the camaraderie of, you know, being back in this room after so long being away. I was gone since Wednesday of last week. It's now Monday of this week. I've been I have been in this room since 2 p.m. on Wednesday. It's now, you know, it's now Tuesday technically. But when I got home, it was like 2:30, 3 o'clock, between 2:30 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon that I got back to the place that I love 
I mean, I love this room. No matter what happens, even if I, you know, move out and live on my own and maybe have a roommate and stuff like that, I want that, you know, communication. I want that companionship. I want that, you know, that roommate feeling. I want someone that, I want to be comfortable in my own space. And that's what this room represents to me. It may not seem like, you know, it's not what I want, but it is what I want. I want that comfort. I want to know that when I come home at the end of the night or at the during the day that I know where I'm at. And don't get me wrong, my brother's place, like I said, my brother's place was amazing. I got to sleep on the couch. I got to do everything I wanted to do there that I, that I couldn't do here. But I missed this room. I missed being able to you know, sleep in my own bed. I miss, you know, being able to, you know, be comfortable when I play my video games and be comfortable when I'm watching a, a horror film or something like that. And that's what I wanted to discuss today, that homesickness is real. And it was the most real for me as of, yes, as of Sunday and... I couldn't take it anymore and I had to come home to, on Monday. It's now Tuesday. And with that being said, you know, I want to, I'm going to be going to the grocery store to get a few things, not a whole bunch of things because there's just, you know, there's a, we don't really need too much stuff. It's not like going to be a full shop. It's going to be like a half shop basically. And it's essential to, you know, have foods in your house that you'll love and stuff like that and drinks and things of that nature. Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, before I go, I have a couple more things I have to address. So, I watched Amityville Horror, The Reawakening with Bella Thorne and, and Kurt, Kurtwood Smith who played Red read in that 70s show and there's just a bunch of other things and then the other film I watched was Night Hunter Re I'm re-watching all these films by the way because I've seen them all already there, and I talked about you know all the horror films that I want to get in the future that are on my iTunes thing so I just thought I'd share with you my homesickness and telling you that I miss this I slept on it twice yesterday when after I got home. And now I'm ready to continue doing my daily stuff. Whether it's, you know, playing Minecraft at home. Whether it's watching horror films at home. Whether it's eating sandwiches and other foods at home. You know, doing the grocery shopping here. All that stuff. There's still so much left to be done. Anyways... I will. I want to wish Addison Ray a happy 20th birthday today, and anyone else who has a birthday on this sixth day of October. I have something I have to do on on Thursday, and then I don't have to do that thing again until November. So, uh, and then once I'm done with it on Thursday, I don't have to worry about it for at least a month. Anyways. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I will see you tomorrow on the 7th day of October, which is tomorrow. Bye-bye.